Okay. Um, so yeah, I'm Stefan. Uh, we'll talk about image manipulation using SIMD, using Mono SIMD. I'm doing this, that talk not because the subject is very interesting, because uh, processing images using SIMD is quite obvious. But SIMD was, Mono SIMD was done something like in 2007, and I figured out that uh, a few months ago, there was no application at all, or no big application at all, uh, leveraging on it. Uh, I had the issue by the uh, Debian packager asking me, what? As what is using Mono is that that's the, the only application I know of, and basically I, I wasn't checking the right version of Mono uh, inside FSpot, and nobody noticed. You should put the mic. Oh, yeah. Or is it? Under your yeah. So no one noticed that, in fact, MonoCMD was great, but was not used at all. Um, so the story, this talk is about um, using MonoCMD in your application, uh, for example, for doing image manipulation, but you can do a lot more than this. So MonoCMD was uh, developed in uh, 2007, I think. Miguel is not there to correct me. Uh, and it was done by uh, Rodrigo Cumpera. Uh, Masi can be, it was 2007? I think. Yeah, I think probably. so. It was for PDC 2007, mm, Miguel and yeah. Um, so uh, basically, it's a set of classes and uh, methods of those classes that are or that could be, uh, if the JIT, so the runtime, permits it, uh, accelerated using uh, using the uh, SSC engine of your Intel uh, platform. Uh, so basically, uh, for the one who doesn't know about it, uh, SSC uh, allows you to process uh, 128 bits of information at a time instead of just uh, working on the float, an int, a byte, or whatever you want. Um, is it available? Yeah, uh, as the technology is quite old, um, it's probably available right now on, your, on the machine you're using if you're using um, Mono. Um, it was packaged with uh, Mono 2.2. Uh, I'd say if you can, you'd better use 2.4 because there was there's some issue in 2.2 uh, with the SIMD. Uh, and is it worth it? Uh, we'll see that in a second. Uh, I will show you how much we can um, we can uh, enhance our application and our image manipulation uh, using uh, SIMD. So we take a sim the, the simplest case possible. We'll compose an image from two images, and basically we'll just take the two pixel and add them. Um, oh, we, we won't shift them at all because um, just I, I had to simplify the sample because otherwise it would imply a lot of packing and unpacking. So we, we will just add the, the, the different component of the pixel one by one. Uh, and uh, it if it overflow, we don't care. Uh, we don't care about the result. It's just about uh, showing uh, something that works. Um, so if uh, that's the code for it, Every, everybody can see it. So uh, basically, we are loading we are loading two uh, two pigs buff. Uh, we're creating a destination, and then we are mixing both uh, source into a destination and saving it to a JPEG. So the non simd version of it. Uh, is it okay if I make this, the font a bit smaller so we can see a bit more yeah. at the back? Like this, okay. Uh, yeah, the bottom is not important. What's important is the loop. That, uh, that's the version without any simd. So basically, you pick, you, you you take all the components of each of the pixels 
and you add them and you store them to, the, to your destination. You have to do that for every line for, and for every pixel of every line. Uh, all the rest is just boilerplate uh, to uh, just boilerplate to, to make the loop work. So that's the version uh, using managed uh, C sharp as you know it uh, and leveraging mono as you know it. Uh, that's do you, you you might think that doing that just this way in C sharp on mono would be ten times slower than doing the same uh, than C. It's not true. It's just something like ten or fifteen percent less uh, effective than doing doing it in C. So I'm not even sure it's it's uh, if if you don't want to to use CMD but you want to do image processing, it's not even worse to do it in C for the 10 or uh, 15 person again. So uh, we will compile that uh, that code, gmcs simple.cs. Uh, it leverage on um, gdk um, pixbuff, uh, so we don't have to create our own uh, memory representation of the image. Um, if you want to compile something with MonoCMD, you just uh, reference it from the command line. Uh, and we're using uh, some unsafe context. We'll come back to that later. And it should compile. Yeah. And execute it. Uh, here it is. It took. Uh, is it the right one? It's really fast. Uh, but. I tested it uh, on the on the battery, uh, so yeah, it looks like a one. And uh, the original image is that one, that one, and the output was that one. So that's one of the origin. That's the result. Uh, that's the other origin. So the result looks like this. It's it it doesn't do anything important. Um, it's not a known transformation or whatever. It just shows that we can add pixel and <coughs> go ahead. So what would it take to uh, move that code uh, to uh, uh, to move that code to um, to CMD? Uh, take that sample and up. There is another version of the same uh, of the same method I developed using SIMD. Here it is. Yeah. So what changed? Uh, basically, still boilerplate. What changed? Instead of doing a G plus plus here, I'm doing a I'm uh, reading. I'm uh, iterating over four pixels at a time. Each pixel is uh, four component. Uh, it's four component because I, w I checked on the very first line of the program that I add an alpha channel on everything. So it's easier for the, for the sake of this talk to have every image is with, uh, with an alpha channel. So each pixel is four component. For each component is eight byte, uh, eight, eight bit. And uh, so if I read uh, four of them at a time, I got my register full, my register of 128 uh, bits. So I'm reading four at a time. How do I read them? Uh, instead of doing, oh, instead of storing my uh, pixel component, I'm loading that in a vector uh, 16B. So that's that's one of the type um, in MonoCMD. MonoCMD uh, got uh, Types for vector 16b uh, signed byte, so uh, for uh, integer, for short, for float, for double, for integer, and for long, basically. And the the lines of the type def define the number of the number of uh, of uh, element you can pack in a vector. Basically, a byte is uh, 8 bit, so you can pack uh, 16 of it in a vector of uh, 128 bits. Um, that's pretty common in uh, image processing, uh, having uh, eight uh, bits uh, per pixel component. Uh, 
we, w we could port that to a 16-bit per, per pixel component and we would just at the time use a vector 8 uh, unsigned short instead of a 16 uh, byte. Um, so I here we are. Those, those are struct. Uh, as we are in a non-safe uh, context, we'll come back to that later, we can just cast it and use pointer like like you you did when you uh, on your when you were young and doing C, you can just uh, cast your byte um, your byte array because my uh, pixel is a byte array uh, a byte pointer uh, to a vector and get the content of it. So those one th that that's the trick I use to load uh, to load uh, pixel from from my pixel array and store them as vector and. I can just add them and at runtime um, as I'm running them on a recent mono as uh, simd is enabled as my uh, laptop has an SSC um, capability and that uh, operat operator uh, plus on uh, vectors is accelerated on my machine that line is automatically at runtime uh, not the, that, that addition is not done on the struct by adding uh, every element one by one but that addition is done directly by the, by the uh, SSC uh, processor so that's my out and um, I'm using store line um, to store it back to my um, to my array, uh, still using some casting magic. Um, so basically, uh, at the time you add uh, vectors, you can just add them or use any operator that is defined uh, on CMD or animator that is that is. You that is defined on uh, CMD, and uh, if uh, by chance that method is, acceler is accelerated on your machine, uh, the JIT will run the accelerated version of it. So uh, we'll recompile it GMCS, okay, run it. Nice, it's slower excellent <laughs> it was doing fine an hour ago you will have to trust me on this <laughs> that sucks That's the old version. Yeah. Because maybe it's detecting that you don't have it. Um, right. Uh, because there's a fallback. If your machine doesn't have CMD, it will fall back to the software implementation. Yeah, I know. So what I'm thinking is, why don't you try to see if that's what's happening? Yeah, I, I would just uh, add the detection at runtime if the addition is available from a folder. Oh, do, do we have a non verbal mount override for this? Yes, on the command line. Which is? Dash uppercase O. Uppercase O. So oh. Yeah. So then the dash uppercase O equals minus CMD. Like this? Yeah, but lowercase. Yeah, so basically what's happening is yeah. it's not using hardware. It's, uh, oh, uh, it's not detecting that you have it. It's easy. I'm using. 
to the floor and here I'm using <laughs> Thanks Miguel. Uh, yeah. Uh, so, GMCS. Uh, MonoSimD uh, package. GTK sharp dot zero symbol. Let's see, yes. Unsafe. Unsafe. Yeah. Which one is it? Yeah, so okay, but it's on par with the other one, and it shouldn't be. Uh, but anyway, um, the the output is the same. That's important. Uh, but I will show you real result on a, a more complex case. Uh, in a sec. Um, that was just th that. That wasn't to to show you how fast it was, but just to show you how you could uh, easily do it. So, um, as Miguel said, uh, we can check for uh, disponibility at runtime. So, um, meaning that uh, it was proven in this case that the fallback that was implemented in SIMD was less efficient than my uh, that my simple uh, um, addition uh, using a regular <coughs> arrays. Um, so if you want to avoid this and fall back in your code to one or the other, you can uh, you can easily uh, check if a method is accelerated uh, at runtime. So basically, uh, in the second sample, I'm just checking for acceleration on every, uh, I will have to make this a bit smaller. Uh, basically, that's another example we'll show you in a second. And for every, uh, for every meter that we'll use a bit later, uh, I'm just printing accelerated or not accelerated. Uh, that's interpret it at runtime and not at compile time so uh, you can you you could decide uh, you could decide at uh, at the time you you write your code okay if i do if i do have ssa 4 instruction i will do it that way if i only have ssa 3 i will do it that way and otherwise i will do it yet another way maybe by leveraging some uh, some uh, some other uh, nat native uh, library or whatever, or you can even fall back to the um, to, to to the default implementation of MonoCMD. But as we just showed, it's basically quite slow. It's it it do the thing it should, but uh, not much. So basically, you check you 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 check the uh, you ask the runtime, uh, which is uh, uh, a static class, uh, if a method is accelerated, and basically, um, SIMD is mostly except for uh, those. Uh, those that, that's the multiply I was adding, but it's on uh, four f uh, uh, a vector containing four floats. Um, that that's how I, I would have checked if the addition was available on uh, that machine. And as most of the methods of uh, SIMD are implemented as uh, extension method. Uh, that's the way you check for that. Uh, the code is a bit cryptic. I will post it on my blog uh, on Monday or next week. Uh, no, it's, it's not cryptic, but uh, on that small number of columns, it's not easy to see. Uh, so basically, you, you can ask the runtime if a method is accelerated. If, if the method is accelerated, uh, the runtime will accelerate it. Otherwise, uh, it will fall back. But as you can check at runtime if it's available, you can programmatically decide to pick a fallback or another. Um, yeah. Where are you? Um, so basically, if you want to do uh, th th that, doesn't apply to uh, to 
to SIMD. But basically, if you want to um, to make some eye manip manipulation on uh, mono or .NET, uh, you can't just uh, use the the image as a byte array or uh, whatever it is, because the uh, boundary check of the array will slow the thing down. So you you uh, most of the time you just have to uh, just have to uh, put your the part of the code that matters uh, in an unsafe context in an unsafe context saying that you're allowed to use that CLI construction using uh, pointers uh, doing uh, no that's in the other case doing uh, conversion and cast that aren't checked by the runtime um, so you have to do that if you want to do uh, some efficient uh, uh, image manipulation uh, on .NET. Um, for doing that, so uh, you have to either uh, declare all your method unsafe or just a block of it and uh, pass unsafe to the command line or to the compiler so, uh, so it goes through. Um, Let's move to a more complex, uh, <coughs> to more complex, uh, five minutes. Okay. Uh, yeah, oh, I will just show you how I'm doing. Um, yeah. So some general uh, advice if you're doing, uh, if you're doing uh, SIMD processing on Mono, uh, try to avoid uh, computing it float because even if oh for my image manipulation because even if uh, there is um, some float operation using simd we don't have any accelerated way of converting a short to a float and uh, a float back to a short except using um, .NET casting and that's quite expensive uh, if we were able, but that's not the case, uh, to use the MMX uh, CVT uh, operation, but that's not possible because there is no uh, MMX acceleration on uh, on MonoCMD, it would be possible. So, but it's it's not impossible. If if you if you just want to uh, some more precision, you just unpack your your byte to a short or to an integer, you do your computation using uh, integer computation and you you then uh, repack it uh, to a short, uh, to a byte re, uh, to a byte vector before putting it to your um, putting it to your pixel re, to your image. So, so that's quite important and uh, if you do that, uh, it will be accelerated, but the casting will just kill the performance, or the performance will be just on par with uh, with uh, a native implementation, not, not accelerated. Um, so that that's one thing. I heard that SSC five would have uh, some operation accelerated for uh, converting float back to end. Of, uh, I've, I've, heard, I've I've read something about it, but I didn't see anything. Uh, I d don't have deadline or whatever. And anyway, for the machine you have right now, it doesn't have SEC five. So for for, for now, just avoid it. Um, so the other example is the example I showed on my uh, blog some uh, some uh, weeks ago. Um, and that's um, that's an application uh, that, that, that just um, um, a port of the GDK pixbuf uh, saturate and pixelate operation. Um, saturate and pixelate is um, a method of GDK pixbuf that basically you can either pixelate or desaturate. I only implemented this desaturate case, uh, and you don't have to desaturate uh, hundred percent of it. You can just desaturate, desaturate it a bit. So basically, the the uh, the the math for this is uh, you have your saturated image 
you desaturate it completely. This, so this desaturating is taking something like 80% uh, of the green channel and 10 of the, the two other one. Or the, the, the number will, 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 will be shown a, a, a bit later. And you, you take the mean and the, the, the weighted mean, uh, depending if, if you want to uh, fully uh, saturated or fully unsaturated one, so you add both. Um, it's quite hard to do it using SIMD. Um, I, I will go fast because I'm almost out of time. Uh, which one is it? So, um, that's the wrap uh, up, up. Okay. So that's the one. Um, I'm using a child multiplier, so no, it's not 80, it's basics. Uh <coughs> <laughs> yeah, it's 30% of red, 60% uh, of uh, green, and 10% uh, of, of, um, of blue, and that makes a d d uh, white and black image that, that looks great. So. Um, Basically, what I'm doing here, uh, as I'm working on a vector containing eight unsigned short, uh, and there is no horizontal add on. Uh, basically, if you want, if if you want to to desaturate an image, you just uh, multiply all the components by some magic numbers, and then you add all the components together and you divide by three. Um, there is, there is something nice if you are working on float, you can, fa you can do an horizontal add and it will add all the components together. But there is no uh, horizontal add on vector 8 US, so uh, you, can you, you can use uh, shuffle. And shuffle is, is, a, way, uh, is a way to, to mix your, uh, the component of your, of your uh, vector. And what I'm doing, I'm, I'm shuffling uh, twice. I'm, I'm doing two shuffle versions. Uh, so I have all the uh, the variation of it, and I can add it. I can add it at the end and have a, a vector uh, containing the the same value on the three main components. Um, and that's it. That's that's how I'm doing the desaturation, and then yeah. So yeah, up 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 up. So I'm. I'm shuffling, shuffling and adding, so I'm uh, having the intensity. And then uh, what I'm doing, uh, at the time I should be, uh, okay, I will, sh I will post the block a bit later, I can show you how it works. Uh, GMs, oh, it's already compiled. Okay, I'm gonna desaturate, take Z. Uh, CMD, okay, and that operation, so that's the check I told you about a bit earlier. Uh, I'm not doing any any treatment of the check, I'm just printing it's accelerated or not. Oh, yeah. So basically I'm checking, uh, yeah, I am. I'm checking if the method are accelerated, I'm not doing any uh, treatment of it because I know they are on my machine. That's the time it took to make a desaturation uh, of an image. Okay, here it is, it's a partial um, desaturation. And I can just show you how slow it is using uh, GDK, G, uh, GDK1. Uh, up, 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 up. What's my argument? Uh, no yeah, it's no argument. Uh, up. Okay, that's GTK. You're using it. You're using it every day, and it's not accelerated at all. So that code is to read. Uh, it just it, it provides an extension method to uh, GDK, GDK PixBuff, and that's really worth it. It's uh, eight uh, seven. No, yeah, it's seven, se seven times better, and that's very worth it. Um, yeah, so I, I'm out of time. Uh, I don't know if I will have time for question, but one one more thing: this the, the cases I showed you are oversimplified. 
because I was always assuming I had an alpha channel. I doing that on some special images that that are a number uh, a multiple of 16 on each side so I don't have to to check for the remaining bits at the end uh, so it's, it, 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 it's just for the matter of simplifying the loop but um, so a real implementation of it would take something like 20 lights more but th that, th that that wasn't uh, that doesn't necessarily uh, need it for that, that speech. So uh, here it is. Great. Sorry.